It is Black History Month, and tonight we're hearing from a trailblazer in the legal field who has a connection to Cincinnati. Justice Melody Stewart is the first black woman elected to the Supreme Court of Ohio. Her swearing-in ceremony was a week ago today. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilley had an exclusive interview to get some insight on how she'll rule from the bench. Justice Melody Stewart studied music at the University of Cincinnati before going into law. She's now a member of the body with final authority over interpretation of Ohio's Constitution. It is often called the court of last resort. Every single solitary case that comes before me will be the most important case. The final chance for Ohio's most difficult legal battles. We get to decide what cases are either a violation of the Constitution or of great significance to the state of Ohio. But until recently, those rulings were handed down by an all-white Republican body. Justice Melody Stewart is changing things up. I ran under the um, banner of we need to have diversity at our highest level of our judiciary, and not just cultural or socioeconomic or, you know, demographics like that, but, but intellectual diversity. Um, my, I bring a different perspective to the court. She's the first black woman elected to it. I'm Melody J. Stewart. I'm Melody J. Stewart. Justice Stewart says she will handle every case based on state law in which she has more than 30 years experience. We have to address needs like our our opioid crisis. We have to address needs like our overpopulation in our prisons. And she knows her role represents a new day for some African Americans, from blue collar workers to NBA player LeBron James. When things don't go your way, you want to tend to look at all the reasons why they didn't and maybe be skeptical about why they didn't. Stewart grew up in Cleveland, was raised by a single mom and attended college in state at the University of Cincinnati to save money. She's been in a lot of Ohioan shoes and knows her walk in life will inform her decisions. Someone who has a different background can say, I think this is important to the state and this is why. They could then say, you know, we didn't think about it that way. Stewart doesn't feel like a hero of history, but she knows the next generation is watching and hopes to give them something to aspire to. And I realize the importance of, of children, uh, girls or boys or African American kids, seeing a picture of somebody who looks like, you know, their mother or their aunt or their sister or their grandmother. And she wants people from every corner of this state to know, no matter their race or party affiliation, She's a reflection of them too. We are a visual society. We are a labeling society. We are an us and them society. Um, and, and that's unfortunate, I think. And hopefully um, my being here can break down some of those barriers. Kristen Swilly, nine on your side.